Hey Seven Fish, welcome. Today is actually Christmas. Um, I had some time this morning to film. We, myself, were personally getting ready for a fishing trip up north. We don't have the best ice around here, but I wanted to do a quick video, make sure that you guys are getting your things ready that you need to get ready, so you know and you're ready when we have safe ice. Down here in southeast Nebraska, um, it's pretty warm winter. So there's some skim ice on lakes, but I feel like it's gonna go off and then we're gonna have to build some fresh ice. So anyways, here are just a couple things that I am getting ready right now. I'm taking things out of my open water kit, putting them in my hard water kit. Um, the first thing that I really got for my deer hunting kit is my headlamp. If you're gonna be walleye fishing, if you're gonna be fishing morning, evenings, if you're gonna be fishing in a pop-up or a hub, make sure you have a light. The headlamps are great. Um, especially when you're checking tip-ups because your hands are busy. Um, bait pucks. You're going to need to get these bad boys out. I wash them at the end of the last season um, because they always kind of smell by the end of the season. So make sure you have your bait pucks. Um, if you have any additional batteries, get these bad boys charged up. I know we did a video on charging them throughout the summer. So these should be pretty much tenderized all the way up until now. But make sure these are topped off. I'm gonna use this one for charging cameras, lights, etc. If you are just a cold human and you get freezing like I do, make sure you have either some toe warmers, some hand warmers. I usually keep about a dozen of these in my bucket um, just in case you were to really get too cold, your heater dies, you fall through the lake, you need to be warm. Next thing, fillet knife. Make sure you get your fillet knife not only out, but also that you take some time to sharpen it. Um, if you're unfamiliar with sharpening, I think Multiferous did a video on sharpening knives. Ice picks, bingo, bango, bongo. These could save your life. Don't go on the ice without them. Park sticker, this is one that you usually forget. Um, this is for 2022, it was gifted to me. An um, awesome, awesome gift for anyone in your family. Pliers. I usually forget these two, so make sure you bring your pliers. Um, and then new ice fishing line. I have a bunch of ice line here to redo all my reels. I have some twos, some threes, some fours, and some sixes. I usually use two, three, or four around here, and six, you know, if we're fishing for walleye or bigger critters up north. Um, that really, oh, there's one last thing. If you want to try and catch some trophy fish on the ice, or you really are just curious, I usually bring my scale as well, just in case you catch a Mondo on the ice. That's a quick little two, three minute video on how we get ready for the ice. Um, I'm going to have another video on getting the Garmin ready. Make sure you charge up your Vex, Garmin, Hummingbird, Markham, whatever you're using electronic wise on the ice. Make sure you take out your tackle. Make sure that's all organized. Um, I have a list of things that I need to get before I go. I think I'm gonna add a rod case to my collection this year. Of course, wax worms, spikes. I'm gonna add a spud bar to my collection. I know I probably, really anyone in Southeast Nebraska should have a spud bar. Um, get some extra spoons and stuff like that. And that is about it. I wanna keep this video short, so thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas if you watch it. Um, around the Christmas season and we'll catch you guys on the water hopefully in the next video. Thank you.